Hello and welcome back to Shovel Knight Plague of Shadows where we are about to get into the Tower of Fate. So so let's get into the Tower of Fate. He 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 indeed. Oh, uh, that's right. We should change our bombs back to the way we normally like them and get our vat out for safety. Being able to uh, jump under the fish is interesting. All right. Ah, yes, this place was an amalgam of previous areas. Well, apparently I lost my bomb jump when I got hit. That's unpleasant. I should have remembered that that was a thing. Okay. Well, could have done that better. But hey, we're good. We're alive. Kind of want my treasure, though. Ah. Okay. Well, now I kind of need to wait for my power to come back. Not really wait, but whoops, forgot those fell. That's right, it's this one that won't fall. Okay. Now that I actually know what to expect and when to expect it and have that rat out of the way, we're in a much better position. All right. Plague Knight is certainly better equipped for this segment than Shovel Knight was. Okay, let's let go of that. Toss some bombs at some rats. Come on, buddy. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that section is much easier as Plague Knight. I don't even mind that I'm getting hit a little because I know... Well, actually, now I mind. Let's use some tonics. Oops, don't want to use too many. Actually, I already used too many. Okay, let's wait for the fire to be done. And then... Okay. That's a bomb, that's not chicken. Those are two different things. Also, I jumped too late. So I might have to fight... Okay, good, I don't have to fight it again. I was more worried about refighting it than anything else. They are really stingy with the checkpoints in this stage. I had forgotten that. You're supposed to be my buddy, sir. All right, let's toss a bait bomb. Whoops. Toss a bait bomb actually where it matters. And then what's up here? Why, it's chicken. Delicious chicken. Much like Simon Belmont, Plague Knight and Shovel Knight do enjoy some good wall chicken. Oh, I forgot about this segment. Yeah, I, I don't want to get smushed. What I do want is to get coins. So I think our best course of... Whoops. Well, it's a good thing we landed instead of going under, because I was wanting to do this. 
And I failed anyway, but hey, I got the coin. And really, that's what matters now, isn't it? Treasure is replaceable. Coins are forever. And now to continue not getting smushed. I hate you! Seriously, those bitey rabbit things are annoying. And this bubble does not help, Plague Knight. Oh no! I remembered too late that I would get smushed up there. So yeah, I'm gonna get smushed a lot this episode. It's gonna happen. I've made my peace with that. But hey, at least I'll get smushed doing what I love. Playing video games, I guess? Because I don't personally really care for throwing bombs and stuff. Now that was how I needed to do that. Now we wait for this floor, because even though it goes off the screen and is still a floor, stops being a usable floor, and we like usable floors. We like to stand on them. Because if our feet so much as go off the screen, we are dead. And I do not much want to be dead. Ooh. That still gets me. It's really tight in there. Oh, we got a carrot. And now there's this jerk. Ah, that was nice. He was trying to block against us while we were above him. And our bombs ended up being more than able to do the work. I wonder if we can get that to happen again. Come on. There we go. Of course, we really didn't have to do that. I just kind of wanted to. Yay, another checkpoint. You want a piece of this? That's what I thought. Okay. There would be so many jumps I wouldn't have made over the course of this game if I didn't have my floaty bomb jump. Like, really, I... I would have sucked and died. Pretty much forever without it. All right, get out of here. Okay. Onward we go. Hello, goopy samurai. Okay. You think you stand a chance against me with your piddly arrows? Because you don't. Yep, the sword guys have a much better chance. But even they are not enough. Really? Why? Well, I guess as Plague Knight we can actually make use of that. And as Shovel Knight we could with the phase locket, so... Really, I was just talking out my butt. Get back here, rat! Oh, rats can just walk over spikes, can they? Boom! Okay, let's go up top. Why not? I see you're back. Okay, what do I want to do? Okay. 
didn't need the vat. That's fine. And we can let this arrow man keep doing his thing because he can't do his thing to us. Okay, so we got treasure down here. Okay. Whoop. And then we can go over here and blow that up for another bomb. And if we want the real chicken, I'm pretty sure that was down there. Maybe when we get closer. Nope, that's not chicken, that's a diamond. Get us over there before it disappears. Let's just go. Oh, that's right, we've got this segment. There were a lot of things I forgot about this stage. Not a fan of the... everything being in silhouette. It's gonna make it a little tougher to spot crypto coins. Okay. We clearly need to change up our strategy there. Perhaps... That worked. And now to go fishing. Well, that wasn't a tonic. I was searching for the word vile, which was not the correct word, which is why I wasn't saying it. We just have to have a feel for when our bomb jump is charged when we're playing in here. Because the flashing is not visible. We just have to know. Which, I mean, thankfully I've been playing this long enough to have a feel for it, but... You get out of here. Ah, it's just a very small opening is all. Get out of here. And no, I did not forget to use my bait bomb over here. I was just investigating other directions first. Now that's a tonic. Or, were I to phrase it in the form of a, like, 90s CD, now that's what I call tonic. You get out of here. I hate you and everything you stand for. And that is dangerous right there, because that's not a real platform. We would have fallen right through trying to get that coin if I didn't see the signs. The same is true of this one over here. Oh boy, that was close. Oh yay, we can see again. And thus, it is time for the Black Knight. Black Knight, must I suffer you again? As long as you pursue the Enchantress, I will pursue you. Great! <laughs> I can use the entertainment. Just one thing. Why were you talking to Mona? She was trying to bribe me to give you the Enchantress's essence without a fight. Mona was looking out for me? Being incorruptible, of course, I would hear no such talk. But Mona did all that to protect me. I must have the potion out of my way. <laughs> ah, yes. Okay, let's get our leech liquid out, because that's handy to have. And I think we will once again be well served by orbit casings.
Yes, very well served. Wow, the orbit casings get rid of those without actually blowing up on them. That's cool. Though these rocks make orbit casings a bit less useful than they would otherwise be. Thankfully, he is kind enough to get rid of them. Oops, we got dead. I should have been watching my health. Well, back to it. And let's pre-tonic. There we go. I can flash too. Yeah, just try it, jerk. gonna have to tonic soon. Let's just do a little bit right now. Oh. Thanks for getting rid of the rocks. They were in my way. Come on, just one more hit. There we go. Clearly you care for her, but why go to such lengths? Why a potion that makes you all powerful? I... I'm not out to rule the world. <laughs> I just want to become stronger and maybe then she'll love me. Fool, can't you see that she already does? No, the potion is the only way. Deep, man. So deep, in fact, that I think that's going to be the end of this episode. Join us next time when we start ascending the Tower of Fate. See you then, friends. And I know I said last time we would ascend, but that was actually just the entrance. This is ascent. Next time we'll ascend. So once again, see you then, friends.